Mother is charged just days after a teenage boy is shot and killed in her home. The boy was shot during Monday snow day when another boy was playing with a gun. Sadly, that gun went off, hitting Amar J. Watkins in the back, killing him. Guy Gordon joins us now with more on the charges that are now filed in that boy's death. Guy? They really are. What they're saying is that grandma tried to take some efforts to secure the weapon and the ammunition, but those efforts were so weak that it still resulted in death. So they are sending a message by charging her with involuntary manslaughter. Prosecutors say 58 year old Lisa Cox hid her revolver under a nightstand, hid the bullets elsewhere and locked her bedroom door, but that it was a flimsy lock and her grandsons knew the location of both. The involuntary manslaughter charge is based on alleged grossly negligent storage resulting in the death of 13 year old Imar J. Watkins. Imar J., known as EJ, died of a gunshot wound to the back after the grandsons Jimmy the bedroom lock found the weapon and loaded it presumably to scare EJ, according to police. His parents want to avoid more anguish and heartache, but they do want someone held responsible. I want my wife to have closure, you know, without it being no more drama or no more fighting. You being irresponsible with your children and it costs my child's life. Cox's 14-year-old grandson was charged as a juvenile with manslaughter, death by weapon aimed with intent, but without malice, and also careless discharge of a weapon causing death. It was an accident. I really, truly believe that it was an accident. The grandmother is also hit with a child abuse charge, one count for each of the grandchildren she left home alone with that weapon in the bedroom. That carries a maximum 10-year, the involuntary manslaughter, a maximum 15-year penalty. The charges against the juvenile upon conviction, the punishment would be left up to the judge's discretion. From 36th District Court, I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4.